We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you in Vilcabamba, Ecuador in the outdoor bedroom, bathroom of our house. Many of you know about this already. We've got a glass roof. Screens. That's a screen. I'm like outside right now. Sun's hitting me in the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. I mean the regular outdoor bedroom. We sleep right there. Glass roof. Once you get fresh air like this, you never can go back. Complete, no stale air, unbelievable. Well, what I want to talk to you guys today is about all of our gray water systems and how we try to recycle everything, as you're about to see. Um, many of you know I like to take Audi Clarity baths. Uh, I probably do it once every month or two weeks or so. But Audi Clarity is a mineral, which many of you know is very good for the planet Earth, plants, the human body, and much more. So we, I take baths in here. And when we drain it, it goes right into the fig trees. And I'm about to show you how the whole entire system works. This sink water right here also goes into the same area. And same with this shower. All goes to the same drainage. So um, I'll take you there right now and show you what it's all about. All right, so I'm sitting here chilling here with my fig trees. And as you can see over there is the outdoor bedroom and the outdoor bathroom. These mounds of dirt, we uh, are in the process of raising the level over here so everything's even and we don't get any puddles and stuff, but um, that will be gone soon. So what happens is from out, it comes, the, the there's a white pipe that comes out from that outdoor bathroom right there. And then it comes all the way to here, as you can see. And this out, this pipe, has a cap on the end right here and it starts right here so all the drainage water comes there and it comes into this black hose and what happens is this black hose continues right here to this fig tree and as many of you know we have about a hundred fig trees on this land over here and a two huge rows of them get this black pipe so you can see we got a whole r rows of fig trees, if you can see them right here. And so what, what in these black pipes, there's little holes, which actually allows this vitamin, this mineral rich water from our audio bath to drip into every single one of these trees. So if you think about it, it's like recycling greatness. We take something from the earth that's mineral rich and aids the human body so much, we utilize it, we take baths in it, and then what happens is we drain it into the fig tree so it goes right back to Mother Earth, and then the plants get it. And what happens is this recycles and recycles and recycles. It's awesome. So now you can also see our guest house over there. It's, it's coming along. It'll probably be done in a couple months. The drainage water over there, the gray water, goes right into that bamboo forest. As many of you probably know, Bamboo needs lots of water. So in the dry season, Ecuador has a rainy season six months and dry season six months. What's going to happen is during the dry seasons when water is being used here, we're just going to be water in our bamboo forest. It goes right in there. All right, I think I can show you guys a few more things. Maybe you guys could help me out on this other gray water system because we're kind of at a loss here, but I'll show you in a second. Check it out. So here's our outdoor bedroom again. Another view of it. And I wanted to show you guys something else we're doing. We're creating a carport. Check out this carport. It's going to be awesome because it's huge. We're going to be able to put our cars in there. But the beauty, the absolute beauty of this carport is the top, the roof, is going to be solar panels. 
This will hopefully be done next week. And we're going to be lighting this place up with solar energy. That's what we're going with from now on. After this is done, the guys are coming out to finish this bad boy up. And we got a carport at the same time. Unbelievable. And um, some other things I wanted to show you before we get into our last water graces, gray water system is check this out. This is bamboo. We actually use bamboo to create all sorts of things here to, to protect our trees from uh, the horses, to create fences, to make bridges over our canal, to make furniture, all sorts of things. Now before you freak out saying that I'm cutting bamboo down and that's not good for the, ba the bamboo, um, I'm going to show you the bamboo forest when in actuality this is the old stuff which if we don't take it down is going to prevent the bamboo forest from expanding. So we carefully take each bamboo and we, pers we, we utilize them as necessary. So um, we just did a massive cutting to improve the bamboo forest. So um, let's go check out that gray water system. right now so I'm in the outdoor kitchen that we created out of our driveway and um, we had the opportunity to make a gray water system here but here's the problem with it I mean it's not that big of a problem my goal the water comes out this used to okay first off this used to be the driveway and we just knocked it out and made the kitchen bigger but right about here, under here, is where the, p the pipes are for the drain off water, the gray water of the kitchen. So we wanted to make it hit the garden right behind us, but this is like a, we need a slant downwards and in essence, we could only make it come to about over here. So this is gonna be an entire this is going to be all grass once construction's done, so we're going to be able to water the grass when we just use the kitchen water, but I don't know. Since it's like a slant this way and it, the garden is uphill, we can't get the water to go up there. So if anybody has any ideas on that, let me know. Yeah. We'll see you in a bit. So there's our little hill with the trampoline in the middle all suited up with grass but check it out check out that over there let me go show you what's going let me show you what's going on over there I'm gonna take you up there right now one second okay so I'm standing up here many of you probably remember this just being completely dirt now we got a whole entire grass stage up here and then the trampoline is down there so we got something new going on. Check it out. That's a big old swimming pool. This is gonna be the place to hang out. Watch out. So a lot of people, what they would do is they would like take their earth that they got from their pool and they would just probably truck it out. I think that's just extremely valuable. I mean, we created this entire land right here. I mean, people could play frisbee up here or whatever. So what we did was we took that pool, the dirt that was in that big ditch over there, and we extended it. Look at this. And we're gonna grass this up. This is like a whole nother land. It just doesn't have grass on it yet. Look at this, and it's solid as can be. We the, the tractor came up here and compacted it. It's just like earth. We raised the earth. 
I mean, we could play football up here if we wanted. And you got this whole entire view. I got some plans for this pool. If you thought this uh, trampoline was kind of outrageous with the little hill all around it, wait till you see what's happening with this pool. But we'll save that for another month. Woo! There's some other big things happening on, on our land that we'll have to save for another day too. I wanna make sure it's the ideas are fulfilled completely before uh, any announcements are made. But uh, here's a nice little view of our outdoor glass bedroom from over here. Oh, you can see the solar panels. It's all coming together. And we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so check this out. Um, there's a canal of water running through our property. It's always running all year round. It goes through almost, it goes through a lot of the properties in this community that we live in. And um, as you can see right here, watercress grows all along. I mean, we have watercress for the rest of our lives, just came up naturally. And we try to use the canal water in every way possible so we don't have to go to any other water source. Um, this water is just free flowing. It's pretty much part of Earth. We just give it to the other parts of our Earth. And it's like this ongoing, never ending supply of water at this moment in time. So over here, we have this alfalfa patch. Alfalfa, we, we, use, we feed the horses with it, we put it in our juices and smoothies. It's probably one of the most mineral, chlorophyll-rich green greens that you're ever gonna imagine. We just, uh, this is like our second planting of it already. The soil just gets better and better every time we plant something. And check this out. We created this little ditch. We just unclog it whenever we want. And then we just bring the canal water right into each row here. That's what these rocks are. It kind of blocks it up. We fill this this one up, and then we put the we take the rock away, and then we move it over here, and we fill up this one, and we just go to each and single every single one of them until every little last row of alfalfa is watered straight from the mineral-rich canal. Additionally, we try to use the canal to water other things this way, since the gradient is that way. It's really good to bring it to the areas over there. I think we were trying to make it come to the bamboo forest. Let me go see what's going on over there right now. Wow, just look at this alfalfa. It's so beautiful. I just bring my, I, I bring my blender out here, cut all these wild greens up with it, watercress, alfalfa, dandelion, other things, nettles, and then I just have coconut water, blend it up and drink it. So here it goes. We've got some new news of stuff happening, but gotta wait. Okay, here we go, I found the pipe. Um, what we've been doing is we've been renting a pump for the pipe, but we're figuring a way to make it happen naturally. But we took, we're taking water from the canal over here, and since it's like on a downgrade all the way to the bamboo forest, we just water it straight from the canal. And the house soon. So that was about a little nice of the latest and the greatest of our property. And then of course you saw the beauty singing. Baba. What was going on there, Jibla? Not the film, the nice woman when she's making crazy singing lesson noises. <laughs> I make some horrible noises when I'm doing voice lessons. See, can you hear my voice is like scratchy now after it's all? It's, the whole point is that I'm stretching my voice beyond what I would normally stretch it to 
help to widen my range and all of the health of all of my vocal cords and everything. So I make some really horrible noises <laughs> when I'm doing voice lessons. So I apologize if there was any crazy scratchy screeching noises going on in that video. Maybe it's just your perspective and they're kind of pretty noises. Baba! It's better now than it was in the beginning when I started doing voice lessons, hey? There uh. were some really crazy noises back then. And I could try to cover them up but it would mean that I wasn't using the right part of my voice. So that's why I have to do them. I have to make the crazy noises. And that's why I really appreciate the voice lessons because if I wasn't doing those crazy exercises with Valerie, I wouldn't push my voice into those places by myself. And the overall result is that my voice strengthens and I have more range and ability to sing better and longer and stuff. So. That's part of what I do every week. Ooh. That's why she sings a nice raw emotion song. Ooh. Maybe I should take some singing lessons to sing Jula's Got a Bum. Baba! <laughs> now, uh, how do you like our gray water systems? Yummers. Mm. Maybe you could comment on how this one only goes like to like right in there. The kitchen water. Oh, is that where it goes to? Or what? I thought it was underground. It is underground. No, I think it, that's just from raining and there's a ditch there. Right. But maybe that's where it goes. I it's going to water the grass, right? Yeah. And it, since it's a down gradient, it does, we can't make it to the garden. So I asked people for advice on what to do. Oh. Yeah, I never really understood this one. I didn't really get why it's underground, but I guess the intention is that there's going to be grass here and it's going to be watering the grass. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really understand this one. I understand the, f the one that goes to the figs. That one's really cool. From the bathroom? Yeah. With the audio clarity? Woo! Cool. It's a nice one, Bubba, isn't it? Yeah. It's because everything that comes out of our bathroom and our kitchen doesn't have crazy chemicals in it. So right. So we can just put it straight in the garden. We don't use crazy chemicals anywhere. We don't. Ooh. Do you know what we use to clean the floors? Because all the floor here is tile. We use the orange TKO, and it smells so good. I love it when um, our housekeeper does like the cleaning the floor, and the whole house smells like orange. It's amazing. It's very inexpensive, and it lasts forever. What is orange TKO? I don't know. Isn't it made only from the skin of oranges or something? Yeah, and it's very powerful. And it smells really good. It's like aromatherapy from having your house clean. And you can clean everything with it. Yeah, that's true, hey? He's a very clever one. And who do we got there? Fantastic X Monarch. Singing away. La, 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 la. And Matt Monarch figuring out th ways to bring it back to the earth. Bring it back. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.